Russell Yates. I live on Fairview Avenue. Uh, I uh, didn't realize most of this meeting was going to be about an animate, animate domain. I thought it was uh, basically complaints you had about the township and uh, the problems you see. Uh, I live just off Sutton Lane. And we have speed bumps there that will wreck your vehicle. Uh, I've been complaining about them for years, trying to get them, you know, removed or whatever. Uh, in this uh, time of a uh, rising gas cost, they double the amount of gas you use when you travel the same thing. I see people going down side roads where children are playing to avoid them, and uh, I'd like to see something done about them. You know, if possible, I'd like to see them removed. I realize people originally asked for them, thinking that they uh, were a benefit, but uh, nowadays well, they are a detriment. To, uh, you know, I, I drive a heavy duty truck, and when I hit them, it's like I, my head hits. And um, these curves would be easier going over than, than some of those people. So uh, I asked the, you know, uh, about them. They said they were according to the specifications. I couldn't find out whose spef specifications they were uh, set up to, but, uh, you know, I, I see no reason to have them or to afford away stop scene. Uh, signs and, you know, this time when we're supposed to be conserving gas. You see on television where uh, you're supposed to coast and drive slowly and everything. We have an excellent police department. And uh, they're uh, more beneficial to slowing traffic down than these speed bumps are. I've seen people hit the bumps and then go like anything to the next one. Slow up, go over that, same thing. I. I've seen uh, one vehicle where the front end just snapped from it. I've got, yesterday I hit one and a uh, knob for my air conditioning uh, flew off of the dash. And, you know, there, there, there's no benefit I see at all. I'd okay. like to see them removed. You know, I'd okay. you know, like the council to take that into consideration. Uh, th thank you, sir. Um, I appreciate your comments. Uh, during this period of the agenda, uh, we are really only supposed to speak on the ordinance, but you did come up, you're, uh, you're not a person that comes here regularly, so well, I, I did allow you to speak for a little while on it, but um, at this time, uh, I'm going to call up another speaker on the ordinance. Now, sir, if you want to hang around, because at the end of the evening, we have a public session where we can talk oh, about I'm anything we want to talk about, I'm but I'll tell you right now, that's going to be a couple hours away. Yeah, I so. Know. Um, I did allow you to speak on it. I appreciate your comments, and at this well, time, I'm going to move on. Well, basically, that's all I had to say. I, 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 I figured that's what it was. I hadn't realized that the thing was on eminent right. domain. The paper right. I got. Well, it's not really eminent domain, sir. That's just one little segment of it. It's an ordinance for to establish a redevelopment agency, and that's really what the conversation needs to be about right now. And that's okay. why well, I, I, I appreciate you coming up. I appreciate your comments. Okay. I thank you. Thank, I, thank you, sir. For listening. I hope you. Uh, Thank you, sir. Ms. Hennessy. Good evening, Mary Ann Hennessy, 20 Carmelo Drive. Um, first, could I make one comment? A lot of the folks that came, I think, don't realize they didn't have to sign up to speak. Some well, of them I'll, were signing I'll, thank up. Thank you. I'll make that comment. And Ms. Hennessy, not to take any of your time, I didn't make my no cell phone comment early. Ladies and gentlemen, if anyone has a cell phone, uh, please put it on off or silent or vibrate uh, so it doesn't interrupt the proceedings tonight. Thank you. Ms. Hennessy. Thank you, Council President. Um, I come before you just as a regular township resident. I don't try to say that I'm an expert in regards to redevelopment. I'm not going to go at that level. Um, from what I've been listening to, from what I've been reading, um, it is a bit confusing. It would seem to me that there are a lot of issues, such as the bonding, such as the eminent domain, which to me are things that should have been put into place as a plan and discussed prior to coming forth with this redevelopment agency itself. I, I think that those issues are, are important and should have been presented as 
what you would expect or what the township required due to our ordinance to, to be included with this redevelopment. It just seems to me as a layperson that this is a little bit like putting the horse before the cart. I'm listening to people talking now about making sure that bonding doesn't get in there that shouldn't get in there, that eminent domain, because when you hand it over to an agency, they can do eminent domain, even though you as a council had said no. And this gentleman says it's not possible, but you can put it in to make sure it doesn't happen. You know, so that's why I get a little concerned that perhaps we haven't done all of our plan. We haven't put a list together that, and it can be a generalized list that would meet requirements for your redevelopments in any part of the town. It would just be simply, this is what we don't allow. This is what we don't want. This is how we want to stop it. This is what you can do. This is what you cannot do. Because we're going to be hiring these people to do the development for the town, for the residents of the town, and not just one area. It, it, it's, it's an overview for the entire town to be redeveloped. We, we don't have new areas. We have redevelopment-based areas. And that's my concern. I, I would like to see it done properly and not have it come back and hit us later on that, gee, we should have put that in there because they overlooked it. And now we're stuck because they overlooked it. That's my main concern. And that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Gentleman right here. You, sir. Bill Brunner, 215 Loring Avenue. Uh, there was a little uh, section of a editorial in yesterday's um, Star Ledger that I think is apropos to this situation. It involved a state situation. However, it can be, as you, when I finish reading this little article, you'll understand why I'm bringing it up. In 2003, the state Supreme Court, in a sharply split decision, determined that an independent state authority that depends on the treasury for revenue could issue bonds without going to the people first. The, car, the court's majority somehow concluded that the authority's debt was not the state's responsibility, even though every bond buyer on Wall Street knew that wasn't true. As a result, the Economic Development Authority issued $8.6 billion in bonds to fund schools construction without asking the taxpayers what they thought. We all know what happened to that school construction project, uh, total disaster. Lawmakers are to be lauded for wanting to spell out what's allowed and what's not. The problem is that the current proposal does